Okay, so I'm going to read the next problem to you. Betty borrower can afford $900 per month and can get a 5% loan, 30 year fixed rate, fully amortized, not interest only. Meaning we're going to pay interest and part of the principal down, right? How much of a loan can Betty get if she can afford $900? This is a common scenario that a mortgage broker faces all the time, right? If you're a realtor, do you get asked often how much house can I afford? This is how you figure it out. Now you are going to use the fancier calculator. Remember, Gordon, it gets harder as we go. Right? So pay attention. You got your iPad fired up? No, it's still warm. Still warm up. What? The iPad has a really cool application. And as the Droid and iPhone, where you can get the financial calculator right on the iPad or Droid. Is oh, you guys familiar with that? Oh. It's very affordable, uh, very inexpensive, very affordable. What is it? Worth doing. It's an app that gets you all of the HP on your phone. So you don't have to carry two instruments. Anyway, carry on. So Betty Barber can afford $900 a month and 5% loan. It's called 10B2. Okay, what we're given is a 30-year fixed rate fully amortized. By the way, amortization comes from the word Latin word morte, which means to kill. An amortized loan means you're going to kill off the loan in equal payments. So this is how you would solve how much Betty can do. What's her rate? So what's N in this? 30 years. 360. And what is I? 5%. What's the present value? I don't know. That's the question mark. What's the payment? 900. Is it positive or negative? Negative. It's negative. Very good. And what's the future value? Zero. Zero. Why? Because it's a fully amortized loan, and after you made every payment, you don't know anymore. That's why. So if you you have four here, which will value zero. So if you have four out of the five, you can you always solve. get the fifth. And I came up with $167,653.46. Is it positive or negative? It's positive. Why? When you take a loan, what happens? When you get take a loan, you receive the money from the bank. So if Betty can only afford $900 a month at 5%, which is about today's rate, she can buy quite a bit of house, right? I mean, 167 grand, someone just bought a 3,100 square foot house for less than that, significantly less. We've got offers in for 125. The point here is very <coughs> average salaries to buy houses in California now. It's a great time. All right, let's get on to the next one. Very good. Are you guys following along? Please, if there's a question. Bill's a great teacher. He goes really slow. He makes it really clear. That's why he's here. If you don't get something, please. We're not going to make fun of you. We're not going to expect you to solve it. We're here to help you. We're going to work you through it. All right, next question.